Hi, I'm Alex Tinsley, and you're now watching Wink Sound. Nimbit is really interesting because now artists can market themselves directly right out of the box. I used to own a record store 15 years ago. Back in 93, the artists were up on Capitol Hill saying, in 10 years, I'm going to be able to market my music directly to the customers. And here it is. The future foretold itself. Our customers are guys that are doing it for real. They're out there gigging, they're trying to do music, they're trying to record songs and get them out there. This is sort of the final step that allows a customer to take an idea and we call it from riff to release. From the initial idea all the way to having it out there for either people to listen to or buy. To get started, first create an account on Nimbit.com. Visit Nimbit.com and click on the free sign up button. Choose your plan. Fill out the appropriate information and click Submit. Once logged in, you'll see the Nimbit dashboard from where you'll create new products, design and manage your online Nimbit and Facebook music stores, launch marketing campaigns, publish live event dates, manage your fan base, and view reports to monitor your growth. Persona Studio 1-2 makes it easy to publish your productions directly to your Nimbit stores. To do this, you'll first need to install the Nimbit extension. Within the song page, open the browser and go to Files. Choose Servers and click on Exchange. And the Exchange menu will now be available. From here, click on Extensions and choose Nimbit Support for either Mac or Windows, depending on your OS. This will prompt an Install button to appear at the bottom of the browser. Click Install and then restart your computer so the changes take effect. When you relaunch Persona Studio 1-2, you will see the Nimbit icon available at the upper left-hand corner of the Start page. Click the icon and sign into your Nimbit account. Now your Nimbit account is linked with Persona Studio 1-2. To publish from the song page, first set up the sequences in and out points by dragging the mouse across the timeline. Go to Song menu and choose Export Mixdown or use Command E. From the Publishing menu, choose Upload to Nimbit. Set the format to WAV file, 16 bits, 44 1. Make sure to export between loop and click OK. Once the sequence is finished rendering, the Nimbit dialog box appears. Tag your song with any relevant information and click on the Upload button to publish to your Nimbit dashboard. You can also publish the Nimbit from the Project page. Click on Digital Release from the menu at the top of the Project page and choose Upload to Nimbit. Once the upload is completed, you will find the newly added songs on your Nimbit dashboard. From here, you can add lyrics and production notes, set the price for the download, and generate an ISRC code for the track to monitor and collect royalties. If you're going to go all the way through the process of making a product, and that product is your song or your record, that it doesn't need to end there, and that you're going to need some kind of way to get it out and sell it and market it. So we wanted to integrate that whole process, and that's why we were interested in Nimbit. Wink Sound is your source for free music and audio technology videos. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.